Will it come back alive? Yeah, yeah. it's coming back alive right now. You. What do you mean by alive? So, remember when I made this? It's cold too. It was in the fridge. It's cold to the touch. Whoa. That's a really cool product. It moves <laughs> just like it. <laughs> Apparently, there's a faster way you can do this using a soap jelly base. And you know me, I'm all about quick convenience. Let's get the job done as fast as we possibly can. I'm really, really dark. So I thought since I'm seeing my nieces and nephews in a couple of days, I should make them some fun Christmas soap jellies using this base and at the same time show you guys whether or not it's easier, better, just compare the results to the soap jellies that I made from scratch. And if you are interested in seeing all that, then keep watching. Here we are in my soap studio and I brought an assistant for today's project. This is my husband, Kale. And I thought this project is the one to bring him on because it's going to be fun and hopefully easy. Easier than it was when I made my jelly sauce from scratch. What are you saying about my abilities? I'm saying it's going to be fun. Okay, good. <laughs> Kale is very capable. So it's not about his abilities, it's about having fun together. So let's do this. Today's jelly soap is not going to be made by powdered carrageenan and glycerin and all that stuff. We are going to be using just two ingredients today. We are going to be using this jelly soap base from Fizz Fairy and Fairy's oil. That's it. That sounds easy enough. Yeah. And it's a melt and pour soap base. So you literally just melt it and pour it. So yeah, <laughs> first we're going to open this thing. It looks kind of Difficult. Should we cut it open first with a knife? With a knife? Oh, you got, okay, you got a knife. These buckets are so hard to open. Who all struggles with plastic buckets like this? I'm gonna step away from the knife here. Get into this jelly soap base. Oh, there we go. Now you're cooking with gas. There we go. All right, let's break into this. Let's see what's in here. I wanna see the jelly soap. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> this is what it looks like. That's Kale's jelly soap um, sound effects. <laughs> Can I put my head in there? No, you can't. There's jelly soap base in there. It's very, very wobbly. Okay, so the first step is to get this jelly soap into a heat safe container or measuring cup so that we can start melting it down. So let's go grab one of those. What size do you want? Just like, like the largest one, not the, not the big, big one, but the one. The conditioner bar one? Yeah, that's a good one. So this jelly soap base actually has, I think, preservative in it. So we don't even have to add preservative, which is awesome. Yeah, there's something like that in here. We are going to, do you want to do this, kill? Sure. Just measure some of the jelly soap out. Can we get some gloves? I don't think they have any that fit you, actually. These fit. They do? Yeah. Okay, all right. All right, so here's the instructions off the side here. Yep. That much jelly soap that base. That much, okay. Ooh, it's gonna be kind of tricky for it to stay in the spoon. I wanna get a spatula also. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's one. Yeah, it's kind of, it's really wobbly. It feels like the jelly soap that we made from scratch, yeah. like the texture is the same. It's very, very similar. I just bring this whole thing into the shower with me. Okay. And another reason why we only have two ingredients is because it already has the surfactant in it as well. So it's already a soapy base. This contains surfactant in it already, so we don't have to add it in. It just makes a really just, funny sound. I just want to sing songs with the word jelly in it. What songs are there uh, with jelly? I mean, there's that song that I think they say jelly girl, but they really say cheerleader. Oh, perfect. Perfect, yeah, awesome. So we are going to melt this down in the microwave in 30 second blasts, super easy. So let's go ahead and start doing that. And then we'll show you the progress once it's halfway melted, what it looks like. Go this is just what it. it looks like on the inside. Yeah, go for it. My money don't jingle jingle, it fold. It's jingle jingle. Jingle jingle? Jingle jingle? It would be jingle jingle. Cause like, it's like he's saying that he doesn't have coins. Yeah, jingle jingle. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, jingle yeah. jingle. It I thought you said jiggle jiggle. But I was like, so I was thinking like we could change it to jiggle jiggle. <laughs> what doesn't jiggle jiggle? My money. Your money? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it 
Let's, let, let's show them what it looks like after one 30 second blast. It, not much change yet. I still think we need to go more. We have plenty more to go. <laughs> there may be a little bit of liquid at the bottom, but. All right, just keep, keep at it. So here we are at the, is this after two 30 second blasts? That's after two, yep. Yeah, and it's it's definitely melting down, so let's keep going. And in the meantime, let's uh, measure out our fragrance oils. Okay. So for fragrance oil, we're using Santa's Whiskers by Fizz Fairy. Mmm. That smells good. It smells so yeah. good and Christmassy. So the notes are sugar, the top note is sugar, fur needles is the middle note, and the bottom note is vanilla. There's some sort of spice in there though. Yeah. Like there's something else other, I, I can smell the pine needles, but there's something else in there. But it's, the something else is Christmas cheer maybe. Is it Christmas cheer? All right, let's measure it out. How many? Oh. <laughs> Read the instructions. <laughs> right here, tear it. Well, I was, okay. Perfect. Here, you can wipe that down here. So we are gonna add this fragrance oil to here. And then we're going to start stirring it with a spatula. The studio gets a little bit more chaotic the more bodies we add to it, but that's okay. We're at the halfway mark when it comes to melting this down. When you see that there's a lot of liquid in there, that's when you can add your fragrance oil because that will accelerate it melting even more. And we're going to add our color in a little bit, but let's continue melting it down even more and I'll show you what we're going to be using for color because it's something I have never used before and I'm excited to try it out. All right, let's get this going. Another round. Let's have another round today. <laughs> so while that's going, we have this green color block from Brambleberry and I've never used color blocks before, but these blocks are great for melt and pour soap. We'll see how it, it does with melt and pour jelly soap. Should work the same, I think. But the way you use this guy is to, to shave off a bit of it. I don't really have a shaver, but I have some knives here. So we're just gonna cut off a piece of it. Maybe just a corner, just like that, that much. And we're gonna add it to our jelly soup. Ooh, it's smelling good. Smelling like Christmas. Yeah, I can smell it from here already. <laughs> so we're just gonna add this. That's it, huh? I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> I've never done this before. So that goes right in there. And we're gonna stir it in. You can see the steam rising. The more color block you add, the more concentrated the color. But this little bit is coloring this jelly soap a nice green right away. See that? More color. You want it to be darker I than this? Be, I want it to be darker green, yeah. Okay, let's do... Like what Christmas tree is that color? <laughs> you're right, you're from the evergreen state. Right? Let's add this much more. You're, you're from the evergreen state, so you know your pine trees, huh? I do. It's just, uh, there you go. Do you want to give it a stir? Speaking of pine trees, I guess we didn't say what mold we are using, but we are using this mold, this fun Christmas tree mold. So we definitely want a darker pine tree. There we go, I think now we're getting closer. This is Kermit green color, and that's definitely Kermit. We could definitely use a darker green. I think Brambleberry has darker green color blocks on their website, but this is the one I have on hand. And I got this from their watermelon soap kit. And it is coloring this jelly really nicely. That's a cool color. Yeah, yeah, you're right. This is more watermelon rind than it is. Evergreen? Evergreen, but, it, but it's, I'll, I'll take this. All right, let's keep melting because I don't think it's pourable yet. Because we need to get it to a pourable state so that we can pour it into the molds. Back to the microwave. So here is our base. It is now at a pourable consistency. And what we're gonna do is just pour it. Do you wanna do the honors sure. of pouring it? Do I just pour it right to the top? Right to the brim? Yeah. Okay, not like a lip balm where you go over a little bit. Just right to the top. <laughs> oh wow, look at that. Let's see if I can get closer. Oh, that is nice. Good job, Kale. Good job. Keep the good times going with the pour. Yeah, it's gonna start Ooh. to get globby. <laughs> You can um, scrape it as, as you pour too, Kale. Okay. Yep, should be fine. 
Yeah, because you'll want the globs in there. Okay, I'll put some globs in the bottom of this next one. Okay. Yeah, scrape it out. Like, like really, truly scrape it out. It's not like a conditioner bar. It should be fine. Okay. Because I remember when I poured my Lush jelly soap, it was getting globby like this, and it, it was fine. Okay. Maybe I should have told you that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> should we give this another zap? Or? Yeah, let's give it another zap. Yeah. This can all... Yeah, try to melt this one last time for 30 seconds, and maybe we can pour it into one more. Okay. This could be our tester. This one right here. <coughs> It solidifies so fast. I am shocked at how quickly it solidified. Yeah. This will probably be ready to unmold extremely fast. I think I might have been able to get five. I thought I'd measured enough for six, but these funny shaped molds are tricky. I think the first and the third ones are the best. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can probably remelt these down though, I yep. think. So we might try that if these ones don't turn out. Or you can keep zapping it until it's completely liquid. I think I might have poured too soon. Yeah, it wasn't all liquid. Is that liquid? Yes. All right, so when you're pouring it, scrape it out as you pour. It looks like we made a baby tree soap. I really like to scrape out as much as I can out of things and just make sure that we use it all up. I think we might be good in an hour to unmold these guys. So okay. let's let it chill. I think we should put it in the fridge or what do you think? Sure, why not? Yeah, just like gelatin. Yep, I'll but, go get a tray. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna put these on a tray and then in the fridge and then we'll come back in a little bit of time to see how it turns out and we'll unmold them. And I think the first one is probably good but the next couple ones, we'll probably just remelt them and try again <laughs> and re-pour. But that's the beauty about melt and pour soaps. Hopefully it all works out. I have a strong feeling everything's gonna be okay. So here are our jellies after maybe half an hour. They've already set, so they should be good to unmold. I'm gonna wait until you're done doing that. <laughs> okay. um, let's bring you maybe a little closer so you can see what I'm doing. Perfect. Pull the sides away. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, and we're gonna start to unmold this guy because he seems pretty eager to come out. <laughs> this silicone mold is from Windy Point, by the way. If you're wondering where I got this, <laughs> rolled out like a he rolled out. I don't know why I get the giggles whenever I I look at these jelly soaps, but they are so cute. It's just something about jelly. <laughs> and this one unmolded perfectly, and you can see that it's just the most perfect little soap jelly. And it's jiggling, because he's so happy. Do you want to unmold this guy? Sure. He was our, um, I think this might be the most perfect one. Yeah, just pull him away. I'll help you. Got it. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> All right, let's do the. I'm gonna do the bad one. Okay, hold on. Let me put these guys down. Okay, let's do the bad one. <laughs> this guy right here. Let's bring it closer. This oh, isn't oh goodness. A tree anymore? This is like a brush pile. It's like a shrub. Yeah, keep going underneath and pulling upwards. It's like the. Oh gee, oh geez. Okay. It's like the cuttings after you prune your trees. He's not bad at all. On that side, it's good, yeah. Well, that's the only side that matters. Yeah, on the other side. <laughs> this is um, yeah, it's a... expectations versus reality. Yeah. <laughs> he turned out good, though. All right, another one. Next one. This one should be okay. He looks pretty good from... His behind looks okay. Oh, yep. Another perfect soap jelly. And then our little mini soap jelly. It's good to see some liquid got into the trunk part. Yeah. Because before it wasn't even high enough to get in there. This could be our little tester guy. And even he turned out good. He's not as jiggly as his brothers and sisters, but he's okay. It's like those little jelly hands that you'd win at the arcade. To package these guys, we're gonna put them in these eight ounce plastic containers with the lid on top. And yeah, that's how we're gonna give them to our nieces and nephews. So cute!
And they could also store these jellies in these jars too when they're not using them. But I think they're gonna use them up pretty quick. Jelly soap! These came out perfect. And now the only thing left to do, besides playing with them for at least half an hour, which is what Kayla and I will be doing once the camera gets turned off, is to see how well they sud and lather. So let's take our our um, tester guy, Kay. this one right here, and see how well he does. So, okay, we have some, some suds forming. There we go. Oh, here we go. The green, the Kermit green. Oh, I got, I lost a chunk. <laughs> the Kermit green looks beautiful because it has a bit of shimmer on it. So the lather on these guys is pretty good. I would say the one that we made from scratch had bigger bubbles than this, but it's still a good lather. And you don't really need to add extra oils to these guys for moisture because there's a lot of glycerin in these. So if you work it between your hands, you can definitely get good lather going. Yep. Not bad for melt and pour soap though, huh? Here, do you want to try? Not bad. <laughs> oh, and it smells so good. It smells like the cedar. Yeah, it smells like there's like cloves in there or something. Oh, there you go. You got some good lather yep. going. And how much fun would it be if you have a Christmas party and you have these little jelly soaps in the powder room and your guests can go in there and soak yeah. their hands with some Christmas tree jelly? Guests might not come out of the bathroom. <laughs> wow. And I think our I think our nieces and nephews are going to love this. They're going to have so much fun. Yeah, once you really work it between your hands, you can get a good lather going. This is so cute. So we've rinsed, and my hands feel pretty good. How do your hands feel, Kale? They feel good. They don't feel slimy. They don't feel like they have residue on it. So these are definitely a success. And how easy would you say making these were? Pretty easy. Like, from Insanely the beginning to now, easy. that's way less than an hour. Yeah. And the fact that you can have jelly soaps like this with... <laughs> that one just fell over. Um, jelly soaps like this in as quick of a time as we did and with that much ease. You can definitely do this with kids and I think they yeah. would get such a huge kick out of making jelly soaps themselves. It's amazing how quick and easy it was. Yeah. For those of you wanting a printable PDF on how I made these guys with all the steps, um, that is on my Patreon. Thank you to Fizz Fairy for sending me the soap jelly base to play with. I'm definitely gonna be making more soap jellies in the future. I have a lot of fun projects planned. So excited. I love it. If you love all things jelly, like most people do, get the soap base. It is fantastic. It's wonderful. Highly recommend. And the scent of it is good too. The Christmas. Yeah, what it's really good. Santa's whiskers. Yeah. Like if that's what Santa's whiskers oh. smell like, I want to I wanna get up close and personal to them. <laughs> Me too. Not gonna lie, it smells really good. Speaking of my Patreon, thank you to my patrons. You guys are fantastic and so, so sweet and so generous, especially these guys, my bubble BFFs. You guys are just so wonderful and so important to me. Your feedback means the world to me. Thank you to each and every one of you. You guys are the best. And until the next video, keep smiling, keep being awesome and keep making fun, beautiful things like soap jellies, <laughs> Christmas tree soap jellies. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Bye. Bye guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at the bubbles we're getting. Wow. Nice and sunny. Yeah. Will it come back alive? Yeah, yeah, it's coming back alive right now. You? What do you mean by alive? Like, look, after you break it up. Oh. Oh, after you break it up, no. That's, it's done if you keep breaking it up. Is it dead? <laughs> yes, it's dead. It's dead.